I just finished a Jillian Michaels 30 day shred level one workout and I actually found it really hard. Usually I do level three if I just need like a little quick workout. They're only 20 minutes long each and they're usually not too taxing on me these days. So here's the 30 day shred one. The three levels, level one, two and three, she uses this like three, two, one interval system. Three minutes of strength, two minutes of cardio and one minute of abs um, and there's a, a warm up and a cool down. The warm up and the cool down though are only two minutes each, um, which I just don't think is long enough, especially if you're just starting out and you're starting level one. When I started level one, I was in so much pain, literally for around 10 days, I think, the first time. I was in absolute agony when I walked up the stairs. It just, yeah, it was ridiculous. Um, and then I couldn't work out because I thought, oh, I'll do this every day. It's a 30 day shred. Um, but I couldn't work out the next day. I couldn't work out the next week. Um, so I kind of tried to do it like once every couple of weeks or, you know, and then increase that to once a week until eventually I was on level three and, you know, finding that um, pretty easy. Um, and then that's when I advanced to her other DVDs, uh, No More Trouble Zones and uh, Banish Fat Boost Metabolism. They're my, two of my favourite DVDs. There's the Charlotte Crosby Three Minute Belly Blitz, um, which I did a video on. I love that DVD and I love these two as well. Um, these two are about 45, 50 minutes long. So to be honest, it's not often I have that long um, to actually do a workout. I've got the kids, I'm rushing off to get uh, my little one to nursery and back. Um, yeah, so I don't get much time for those. But I do quite enjoy doing the longer ones when I have the time. I'm just gonna do some stretches now, because like I say, the DVD warm up and cool down are really, really short. Obviously she's trying to fit 20 minutes of stuff in, but I really think that you need to extend that. Um, I've been working out for quite a while now. I have got used to the DVDs, but um, I still need longer to stretch. And some days, like off days, I still spend like half an hour maybe, I'll just stretch. Um, you know, you can do it while you're watching the TV, while you're watching the kids, while you're doing puzzles with the kids, you can kind of fit stretching in anywhere. And it's something that's so helpful to, to exercise, to keep you going. If you're more flexible, if your muscles aren't as sore, you don't have as bad DOMS the next day, which is a delayed onset muscle soreness, then you're gonna be able to work out again quicker and it's gonna be more effective. So you can just take the stretches that she shows you and extend them, or you can find uh, different videos on YouTube and do those, or you can get a book on stretches and learn your own. Um, once you've been doing it a, a while and you've followed a few exercise DVDs, you kind of pick them up and know them yourself, and you know which areas need a little bit more stretching than others. The I did think is... I could come and hide away and have my lovely raw chocolate, but now the children are here and they want to, me to share, don't you? Yeah. No, me. I don't want to share. Share, share. Sharing is caring. Okay, I'll go and get you some more. Mimi, do you want to pick something? Ooh. Can I choose anything next? Oh, my. A gold one. Probably. There's car uh, vanilla ones that you're really good Vanilla, vanilla. Coconut and vanilla. I want really Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Uh, I thought you wanted, uh, let me have a look, that's goji berry. I thought you wanted buttons. Buttons! Mm. Oh, well on! Buttons! Mm. Okay. Um. Mm. Mm. This is okay. very nice. This is very, very, very nice. Chocolate. Come yeah, so I'm going to finish this little talk now. Um, like I say, Julia Michaels DVD is great. Some of the best workout DVDs out there. Um, I'm going to have some chocolate and go make a chicken, uh, chicken and rosemary casserole, um, which I'll film and you can see that.
thanks for watching guys i hope you tried the recipe and you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up and hit the red button to subscribe and in the next video we'll be making chestnut pancakes bye